Hey guys, happy Monday and welcome back to another Sims 4 roofing video. So picture this, you've just finished roofing your little suburban and you're ready to move back inside when all of a sudden you realize that there is an awful lot of roof showing on the inside of your build. Don't worry, we're going to cover how to fix all of these from the eave clipping in here to the trim clipping in here to the whole roof here and even how to fix this little gap up here. The first issue we're going to tackle is the trim because as you can see it's also clipping on the outside of the house. And as cute as this chunky trim is, it's just not always practical for every build. If you just switch to the square roof trim, you'll notice that it does fix the outside clipping. But when we go inside, it's still clipping right on through those walls, so not the best solution here. Almost any other trim would work though, for example even this beveled out roof trim, even though it looks almost as thick and chunky as the other two trims we were talking about you can see it doesn't actually clip in through the walls on the inside. Next up, let's talk about this guy right here. This one's actually going to be super quick. All you have to do is select the roof, press shift and click on this inside eave arrow, push it back, and boom! Nice and tidy just like that. That's also how we fix this eave problem right here. Hold shift, drag the arrow back, and boom. You can't even tell you moved anything on the outside. It all still lines up just great and you've eliminated this whole problem area. It is worth noting that roofs clip inside on the eaves and like this pretty much exclusively when you have any sort of vacant space in the build. However, this is becoming more and more popular to have sort of lofted areas in the build, so I thought it was definitely worth the time to cover here today. Hi buddy! The quickest way to get rid of this is simply to close off the space again. That will inform the game that this is in fact a closed room, no roofs are allowed. However, sometimes you want the whole space to be open, or this just isn't practical, so let's go over a couple other ways that we can fix this as well. My preferred method is to split this roof into multiple pieces. Select this arrow, bring it all the way over to the side, nice little roof piece here, copy, place, drag over, bring in both of the eaves so that neither of them are clipping in, and there you go! no roof on the inside anymore. Now as you can see the one issue with fixing it this way on this particular build is that this dormer is flush with the wall below it. So there are a couple of ways to fix that. We could either bring this wall out, extend these roof pieces, and place an additional roof piece here. And you can see that that fixes that just fine. It still lines up with the front of the house. We'd have to fix this area here as well with this. Pretty easy again. Copy this roof piece, move it over, and it all lines up just fine. However, if you'd rather just keep your walls the way that they are, there's one other option you can do that will add even more playability to your build. And that would be to make this area a covered porch. Let's start by dragging this roof out and dropping it down so we can keep those nice windows. We'll again copy this roof piece, place it, push it push it back to line up with this wall so that when we drag it over that lines up just fine. We will also have to bring this eave in and that's how that would blend together over there. Go ahead and do the same thing with this roof piece, drag it out, drop it down, copy, move over, drag this <laughs> piece in, slide it over, and there you go. So what looks like it could just be one piece of roof is in fact one two, three, four roof pieces. That gives you a nice clean line though, covers your porch, and leaves you with no roof on the inside. Now the last clipping issue we have to deal with is right here, this awkward gap at the top. Much like with our porch, this is going to end up being at least three roof pieces, so go ahead and delete this. And then we're going to pop over to the roof tool and grab the half gabled roof and place it here. So we're going to take this and hold shift to drag this top eave down. Our goal here is to get this wall height to line up with this wall height. Now by default I have it set up so that it matches, but if it doesn't match up for whatever reason, like say you want this part of the roof to only be two tiles wide and have a steeper pitch, and you can drag this up and you can see that you can still get it to line up, because remember if it goes any higher that's how we're going to get that weird gap. Go ahead and copy, rotate, place down, and now you'll see we have this gap right here, but because it's conveniently the same height as the walls of the build, we can simply place a little room there for the top, grab a gabled roof, drag this over to size, and because we kept the default pitch it slides in quite nicely. Once you have all the paint and roof trim matching, you can see it doesn't look any different from the outside, but when you go inside, of course we have to fix this, but we remember how to do that. Shift and drag the eaves in. 
you'll notice that that immediately gets rid of that awkward gap right there and you get an additional little area for a window, a reading nook, a half bathroom, whatever you choose to put in there. Thanks so much for watching this video today. If any of this information was helpful at all, please let me know by hitting the like button and don't forget to subscribe for future roofing videos coming up this month. I'm going to be posting a new video about roofing almost every day this July and I would love to hit 100 subscribers on YouTube while I'm doing that. Check out the top card for a playlist of all the shorter tutorials I've done on the channel more recently and check out the bottom card for the full playlist of everything I know about roofing in The Sims 4. Thanks again for watching. I hope you have a great week and I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. Bye!